Elizabeth, uh, when we look at the bigger picture, it seems like Russia has been making progress, however gradual that may be. How would you say the, the pace of the war is changing? As you say, Russia seems to have turned the tide. We all remember the, the early weeks where nothing much was going right for Russia. Now the Russians seem to uh, well, are clearly focusing their efforts on, on this strip of land here uh, in, uh, in the east of Ukraine, around towns and cities like uh, Lyman and Sever Severodonetsk. Um, but we should also remember that, uh, as you mentioned, uh, President uh, Zelensky has been visiting Kharkiv, which was previously uh, a very fought over city that is now safe for him to enough to safe enough for him to visit as of course are the western parts of the country where the russians have retreated so now they uh, the fighting is very much here in this strip of land the russians say they have taken this town of lyman uh, which seems very unimportant until you consider that it has uh, it's a railroad hub and it also has sits by a, a major road uh, and of course is also very close to the city of Severodonetsk, which is the last major population center held by the Ukrainians in this strip of land here. Right, okay, so we've reported on Russia's blockade, of course, of the port city of Odessa in the south. How are world leaders trying to address this? Because, of course, it's, it's not just the blockade there, it's the grain that is stored there that is crucial as well. That's right, and that's why the blockade matters to every single one of us, uh, because Ukrainian grain can't get out and can't get to the rest of the world. And that's why uh, world leaders are, are uh, reported to be di discussing some sort of solution, uh, and that's, that solution is thought to be a naval escort arrangement so that ships can get out of those ports in Ukraine and get through the Black Sea down to, um, to uh, the exit of the Black Sea and into international mm -hmm. waters. The, the question, though, is whether those talks are progressing and how serious they are, and also if they were to be successful, whether shipping companies and insurers would be willing to, to sail through these very dangerous waters under those conditions.